I can blow up half that hill if you want me to. <laughs> That's okay. He's okay, Sam, go ahead Simpson. and get the stuff. We'll meet you at your place. Right. Simpson, you've been sworn in. Take care of the office for me till I get back. Uh, uh, right. And call the coroner. The rest of you boys come with us. Snap, crackle. We're going to Al's happy hour. I love a parade. Who do I say I am? Uh, oh, I'm... Sheriff's office, Simpson speaking. Oh, I thought that oh, was his name. Simpson. This is Joe, Mike's friend. Remember me? Oh, yes, Joe. What's the trouble? I'm reading Red Book and, uh... uh I, I better tell the sheriff. Well, he's not here now. Maybe you'd better tell me. What is it, Joe? Well, it's about my heap. Somebody mooched it off of me today to go for Somebody a ride. Somebody stole your mom? And, and it isn't back yet. What? Did, did, what? After what that spider did this afternoon, well, well I was just wondering if... Uh... Well, it's a good idea to check. Uh, what's the boy's name? Well, it was Mike and Carol Flynn. Did they get back yet? Huh? That's a strange no. name for a boy. At least I haven't seen them. Did they say where they might be heading? No, sir. Thank you, Joe. I'll look into it. Thank you. You have provided us with the second plot point and the third act. Oh, so Better get Bird Eye Gordon on the phone get those crappy special effects ready. Hello. Oh, Mrs. Flynn, this is Mike Simpson's father. See, the big trick is to not get any on the edges. Hey, Joe, what are creepo people? Oh, creepo people are these really wacky, creepy people that use pencils and stuff to make their bodies, and then you bring oh. it to school. Oh. It's pretty neat. Oh, hi, everybody. I was just teaching the bots how to make creepy crawlers. I found my old set, and this batch is just about ready to smell. Crow, check it out. Mmm, <laughs> that's good goop. Here, I'll be the judge of that. Let's see. Move over. <clears throat> Oh, it kind of smells like hot plastisol with traces of calcium zinc, the FDA-approved stabilizer. Now, how is this different than, say, Incredible Edibles? Uh, well, Incredible Edibles were the ones you could eat, so, uh, I would probably say they were both non-toxic. Non-toxic? Non yeah, non-toxic was what they call things when, uh, they're toys, but you can eat them and it won't hurt you. There was Crayola crayons and plastic goop and play-doh and uh, just about all of the breakfast cereals now that I think about it but anyway the real thing that was dangerous about this toy was the aluminum plates that would heat up into excess of 300 degrees well didn't you little kids back on earth get burnt yeah I'll say we got burnt we got burnt all the time it was just part of what went with the territory when you got to make your own cool plastic toys we had a saying when I grew up learn with a creepy crawler maker burn with a creepy crawler maker. Well, what happened? I mean, why can't kids today play with the thing maker or all the neat accessories here, like the creepy crawlers or the fun flowers or the fright factory or the picadoles or the fright men or the mini dragons or the eeks? I'll tell you why, because some little kids wrecked it for everybody. They'd get burnt and go screaming upstairs to their oh. mammies. The moms would call the FDA, the FDA would call the manufacturer, and before you could say it's Mattel, it's swell, the great goop factories of Taiwan were shut down forever. You know, I was just reading something about that the other day. There were lots of really fun toys hauled off the market in oh, the 60s yeah. because kids were careless. I'll hmm. say the Susie Homemaker Oven yep. and the Whammo Air Blaster. Lawn dart. Lawn darts yep, and yep. creepy crawlers and the Verdi Bird. It goes on Back like that. Poor yep. dumb kids. They never even knew. Well, I don't know if we can really blame the kids, Crow. You see, I really think that this society is basically just still crawling out of the slime, or goop, as we should say. I think the real responsibility lies with the toy designer of tomorrow. How's that, Joel? Well, the toy designer of tomorrow's responsibility is to design action-packed, intensely interesting and affordable toys that are safe, soft, and colorful. Good night. And may God bless. Yeah. Oh, we're coming out of the game thing, man. That was neat. Yeah, it certainly was a neat game thing we used. Oh, oh, boy. I tell you, there have been people through here. Jack before. Weston. Or George Orange. Weston. Hmm? Lost. Hello, I'm George Weston. 1902. Crowdy. Ah! Uh. Starved to death. Ooh. I'm getting awfully worried, Mike. Me too, Carol. Why did I ever have to bring you down here? It's all mine. My... All you do is bring me down, babe. 
Don't let it bring you down. It's only Castle's burning. I suppose your mother's thinking. Well, they wouldn't tell her. She's in the hospital having a baby. Well, what about your dad? What? Dad, we're still trying to find out who he is. That's pretty good, Joe. I, I think he can take it. My mother can't. Mm. Not after what happened to my father. Don't make yourself feel bad, Carol. I can do that for you. Don't you either, Ben. You know, all of a sudden I feel hungry. Me too. Not for a spider. I just remembered I've got a candy bar with me. What are you going to have? It's a Clark bar. Now, it must have gotten warm in your pocket. It is good food, however. Hey, did you just make a yummy noise? Now, this always happens at dinner. Have your little friend go home now, will ya? Convoy with Chris Kersoverson and Ollie McGraw. Up next is Kenny Rogers in the Six Pack. Good movie. We are the men of Texaco, the star. All right, you man, that is snappy. Let's get that gear off that truck. Break out the little cocktail weenies. Now just stay out here and bark out belligerent, fat-ass orders. Good, good. Keep it coming. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, Pops. Is that all you can carry? Take two next time. Yeah, a case of Chevis. Good boy, good boy. Not Carol smooth. always lets me know when she isn't coming home. Always. But today, I don't know, she just wasn't herself. She attached too much importance to that bracelet. Oh, I hope she and Mike haven't gone back Shut to that up. cave. Shut up! Carol, do you see? This is the place where we got lost. Oh, I know, the way's through there. Yeah, but the spider, Mike. If we stay here, it'll find us. Come on, let's run. Let's find the place where we're safe from these process shots. There's the hole we fell through. We haven't got far to go now. I'll climb up through the web. Hey, I saw this in Beastmaster about 60 oh, times yeah. on cable. Right after Roadhouse. Oh, good movie. Come on. Oh. I'm stuck. Yeah, yeah, give me your hand. Give me your hand. Hey, Mo. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh. It sounds like my grandma in the morning. Let's get that extra dynamite out of here. Extra? Well, that'll be the end of our spider's nest, eh, Kingman? Spider. <laughs> but you said last time. Now, this time it's for sure. It's got to die. No living organism can survive for long once its food supply is cut off. We'll be ready to blow her up in a couple seconds. Well, let her blow when you're ready. Well, surely they'll see our car at the entrance. I don't think so. I call you, man. I don't want anyone hurt. Except for the kids in the cave. <laughs> Can't you carry more than a hammer? And uh, then when Carol was three, well, shut up! Would you shut up? Isn't that Joe's car over there? Oh, yes, it is. Why? Yes. It's my car now. Kids. You know, it uh, just dawns on me. I wonder if anyone Please is in that cave. Something. Maybe we should have checked. You seal them up. You're going to have to open that cave and get them out. But don't get excited. We're going to do everything for them we can. How do we go about it, Haskell? Open up the cave again? Hmm. That's easy to say, Sheriff, but it's going to take some doing. But well, we blew up tons of earth and rock over that opening. Brought half the hillside down. Well, we better be start clearing it away. Nephew or something. Days, or maybe a week. Well, there isn't that much time. If the spider doesn't get them, the bad air will. Well, then we better get going. The sooner the better. You've got a car. Go into town and get them to send out a bulldozer. And some Please. sandwiches, you wherever you are. are. See that flat shelf a little higher up the mountain? Suppose we dug straight down from there. How about it, Haskell? Looks good to me. Let's get those ropes, picks, and shovels out of that truck. Here's where we go to work. Who is that guy? He stinks like mummy meat. First they want us to close the cave, then they want us to open the cave. What's your problem? 
Now, you don't want to look at it like that, Mrs. Flynn. You've got to remember that cave is a big place, and those kids have a lot of sense. They'll find places where the spider can't get at them. If we do dig our way in, what's to keep it from getting at us? I don't know. What do you say, Kingman? We've got to have some kind of an effective weapon against it. That's obvious. That power line across the hills. Which one? Oh, that one? We could bring a cable over from there. Hmm. Well, what for? Get better Let's see if we can electrocute the beast. Big sweaty men working long hours to get the job done. Desperately in need of Aqua Velva. Quarter mile of insulated copper cable this side of Springdale. Uh, check in my Quite trunk. Seems to me I saw a lot of that stuff in there. You want to go for it in the truck, Simpson? Yeah. There's hey, hey, hey. Waste go any for time it in the truck. Back. How's it coming? Not bad, but we have plenty to go. Stay off the moors. Oh. Hey. What the? You don't belong to the drummer in that weather? Hey, did the earth move for you, honey? That was great. Rocky this morning. I really got stoned last night. Well. Joe! Joe! Oh, I feel so dirty. <laughs> Where is it? Looks like the wall concert got out of hand. Let's go. Can you make it? I'll be all right. Wait. You got your bracelet? Would you forget the darn bracelet? But I need my bracelet! Oh, come on. Wait! Yeah, got this dynamite from the coyote. Hope it doesn't roll back up on me. we came in? I'm sure it was. Not anymore. It blew up the opening. <laughs> what did we do? Panic. What was that? Oh, some blasted thing. <laughs> Sounds like blasting. But they know we're in here. I bet they're trying to get us out. Help! Help! Huh? Help! 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 They can't hear us. Maybe, maybe if we get closer to where they're working. Smart. Gee, we got one deer leg. We're gonna use it everywhere. Help! Help! I don't want to hear! You have to be heard, understood, and pleasing. Use plenty of lip and tongue action. Help! Louder. Help! We're down here! Chad, I hear someone. Kelvin Clyde, jeez. Mike! Carol, we hear you! But we don't care! It's Kingman. They heard us. I hear you too. <laughs> if it's not one thing, it's another in this crazy cave. Woo! Oh, look, I got a walleye, a couple of northerns. Oh, big lunkers here. Oh. This is the power line foreman, Kingman. He's going to help us when the cable gets here. I thought you'd be the one to brief him on what I'll pants him, but I won't brief My him. My idea is to <laughs> tie into that power line, take a couple of electrodes into the cave, get the spider between them, and turn on the juice. We want to create an electric arc, you see, so it jumps through its body like a bolt of lightning. You think it'll work? It could. How about electrodes? Simpson's bringing them. Have you got tools and rubber gloves? In my cheek. All we need is the cable number to go. That could be Simpson now. I think the restrooms are over here, honey. 